What's driving Tesla growth? I know, fairy dust. Is Tesla heading in the right direction? These news cycles never age well. Here, here's one from back in November of 2022. Today, the stock is down roughly 25%. That's just for the month of November. And a year to date, take a look at what's happened to Tesla over the last two years. You talk about a roller coaster ride at Tesla versus GM and Toyota. This is the indication of how far Tesla has fallen relative to other automakers, guys. It is down, what, 51%, and then you've got GM and Toyota down 21 and 31%. So it, it is a, a case where right now, if you are a Tesla investor, you're wondering, where, where, where's the story? Let's talk about what they have on deck right now. Tell me what's next for Tesla. Aside from December 1st and the beginning of deliveries for the Tesla, sem Tesla semi-trucks, which is not gonna move the needle, what else is out there? There is nothing fundamentally with that business that is driving momentum right now. Hi everyone, I'm Sarlo Grant. Welcome to the channel. We're gonna go over an article by Hots Automotive. It's a forecast. Tesla grabs more share, GM remains on top. General Motors will finish quarter one as the number one seller of new vehicles in the USA. A year ago, Toyota was on top. Thanks mostly to improved inventory levels, Cox Automotive is forecasting GM sales to increase more than 15% year over year and reach 587,000 units. Sales, however, will be down from quarter four of 2022 when GM's volumes hit 618,000. Tesla, which lowered prices in the first quarter to spark demand, is forecast to post solid sales gains and surpass market share of 5% for the first time. Tesla sales in quarter one are expected to reach 180,000, a record quarter for the company in the U.S. and a gain of nearly 40% from quarter one, 2022. Tesla will be the top luxury vehicle seller in the U.S. in quarter one by far, with sales more than double that of BMW or Mercedes. All right, we have the actual sales forecast chart here. And I made a few highlights. Interesting that the article labels them as luxury vehicles. Terrific in performance? Yes. Expensive? Yes. Luxury? Well, that's to be debated. However, plenty of people still buy Tesla for brand cachet. You look at Mercedes and the like, they actually label or sort of market their base models as luxury. So yeah, it can be argued that all Teslas are luxury vehicles. In this chart, take a look at General Motors. They are head and shoulders above everyone else, inching out Toyota but their numbers are down significantly compared to last quarter. Across the board, everyone's numbers are lower compared to the previous quarter, except for a few, and there are caveats to them all. Again, look here at GM, Toyota, and BMW. Even with their valid attempts at EVs, they're taking big declines in this forecast. Now, let's take a look at Stellantis. A healthy increase in production numbers of around 12,000 units. Nissan, a bit better here with some solid numbers as well. And Mazda surprises with increases. Okay, the disclaimer for these autos is that they don't have many EVs, if any. Their increases are representative of mostly ICE vehicles. That's not the direction that the buying public is heading in. Speculation would suggest that in the next few years, we shouldn't see an increase in those overall numbers if they aren't growing their EV fleets. When we get over to the other bright spots, you notice that the overall numbers are too low to be noteworthy. Both Lucid and Rivian look very good from quarter one of 2022 to quarter four of that same year. But what have you done for me lately? And with Lucid, lately they haven't been doing too well. Cutting employee numbers and constantly revising growth numbers doesn't build confidence. Look at this. Not much positive movement in the last two quarters. I mean, growth is growth, but these are both small players at this time. The startup title is irrelevant. In the past, the assessments of Tesla was that, hey, these are tiny numbers compared to the big boys. And just look at the Tesla stats. It speaks for itself, 1.4% of increases. I suspect these are global numbers and not US specific. Inventory was high in China, I'm sure, but there isn't data available on these details at this time. There isn't any company on this independent chart that comes close to what Tesla has achieved. All electric is the way to go, and Tesla definitely is 100% electric. No ICE vehicles inflating or muddying up their numbers. Close to 50,000 units positively moved from quarter to quarter. These are hard facts that the mainstream media seem to gloss over and say that Tesla stock isn't worth it. 
Tesla continuously wiped the floor of every automaker over the last few years, and I don't think they're slowing down anytime soon. Thanks for sharing your time, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.